The Raven Rock Mountain Complex RRMC, also known as Site R, is a U.S. military installation with an underground nuclear bunker near Blue Ridge Summit, Pennsylvania, at Raven Rock Mountain that has been called an underground pentagon. The bunker has emergency operations centers for the United States Army, Navy, and Air Force. Along with Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center in Virginia and the Cheyenne Mountain Complex in Colorado, it formed the core bunker complexes for the U.S. continuity of government plan during the Cold War to survive a nuclear attack. Description The installation's largest tenant unit is the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, and RRMC communications are the responsibility of the 114th Signal Battalion. The facility has 38 communications systems, and the Defense Information Systems Agency provides computer services at the complex. Topic History Raven Rock Mountain is adjacent to Jacks Mountain on the north while Miney Branch flows west to east between them in the Potomac River watershed. The 1820 Waynesboro Emmitsburg Turnpike with toll station for the 1787 crossroad was constructed between the mountains, where the fight at Monterey Gap was conducted after the 1863 Battle of Gettysburg. Stewart's artillery at Raven Rock Gap shelled federal troops. In 1870, copper ore was discovered to the north, and the nearby Fountain Dale Springs House was established in 1874. The scenic area's mountain recreation facilities to the west included the 1877 Penn Mar Park, the 1878 High Rock Tower, the 1885 Monterey Country Club, and several resorts e.g., Blue Mountain House, Buena Vista Springs Hotels, and Washington Cliff House. The 1889 Jacks Mountain Tunnel on the Western Extension Baltimore and Harrisburg Railway was completed near Raven Rock Mountain, and nearby stations were at Blue Ridge Summit and Charmian. The Army's 1942 Camp Ritchie was built southwest of the resorts, and a local road was built eastward from Blue Ridge Summit and intersected the north-south Fountaindale Sibilisville Road the intersection now provides access to the RRMC main gate. Planning for a protected Cold War facility near Washington, D.C. began in 1948 for relocation of military national command authorities and the Joint Communications Service. Super Underground Communications Center The planned Deep Underground Communications Center was identified in the original 1950 federal petition to seize the Beard Lot, a 1,500-foot high, mile-long hill located at Fountaindale and extending east and south along the Waynesboro Emmitsburg Road, the Declaration of Taking for United States of America versus 1,100 acres of land was filed at the Adams County Courthouse on 23 January 1951, and made the government the official owner of the 280-acre tract seized from four properties 17 total properties had been requested by 15 February. Some only for temporary use. South of and above the Carson Service Station on the Sunshine Trail, bulldozers began work on the 19th of January 1951. By the 3rd of February, a roadway to the site had been leveled behind a farmhouse, and by the 24th of February, underground work had commenced. 40 men working normally on that date were only performing aboveground construction. By the 26th of May, the Army had named the landform Raven Rock Mountain. Raven Rock is a pillar landform to the north along the mountain range and listed its elevation as 1,527 feet. By 17 October 1951, there had been two deaths, one due to premature dynamite detonation in the Beard Lot Tunnel, and another due to crushing of a power shovel operator. The S.A. Healy Company was working on the alternate Pentagon in November 1951, when Washington announced a cutback in defense appropriations would affect the installation. On 16 January 1952, the government indicated that when completed, the bunker would have a standby group of approximately 100 personnel. Because of construction damage to the Sunshine Trail, the U.S. said it would rebuild the trail in any fashion the state desired. By 29 March 1952, more than 100 workers were striking from building additional Raven Rock housing at Camp Ritchie, which was to be a supplemental installation for the underground Pentagon at Fountaindale. No work was going on in the Raven Rock Beard Lot tunnel at that time. Local travelers having to bypass on the serpentine on the slope between Monterey and Fountaindale grew frustrated during the delay the incomplete tunnel was derogatorily dubbed Harry's Hole 
For President Truman, by 7 April 1952, United Telephone Company rights of way had been secured for four tracts, including one in Cumberland Township. Easements for three additional private tracts were filed by the government in December 1953 a 1954 lawsuit against the U.S. by Alfred Holt was seeking $2,000 an acre for his 140-acre woodlot atop the Beard Lot after turning down an offer of $2,800 from the government, a 1952 Army history disclosed Raven Rock information. Three underground buildings were completed in 1953, the year a guard shelter burned on the installation. By April 1954, Little Pentagon development had cost $35 million. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Automatic activation. After the 1954 Air Defense Command blockhouse was built at Ent Air Force Base, where the joint 1955 Continental Air Defense Command was activated, in August 1955 OSD approved the automatic activation of Raven Rock's Alternate Joint Communication Center on Declaration of Air Defense Warning or Notice of Surprise Attack SAC similarly completed a bunker in 1955. The AJCC was equipped with Command and Control C2 hardware by the end of 1955. Topic: 1956 War Room Annex. In July 1956, at Raven Rock, a joint war room annex was established and was operated by the Air Force. And Raven Rock's readiness was broadened in April 1957 for activation prior to emergency if JCS thought it necessary. By 1959, the services as well as JCS regarded Raven Rock as their primary emergency deployment center. For the Air Force, it served as headquarters USAF Advanced, capable of receiving the Chief of Staff and key officers. After President Dwight D. Eisenhower expressed concern about nuclear command and control, a 1958 reorganization in National Command Authority relations with the Joint Commands was implemented. On 1 July 1958 Raven Rock's USAF facility, ADCC Blue Ridge Summit, became one of the 33 NORAD Alert Network No. 1 stations but with receive-only capability as attack headquarters, Sandia Base, and the Presidio at San Francisco. On 20 October 1960, the JCS instructed the Joint Staff to establish a Joint Alternate Command Element JACE for rotating battle staffs to Raven Rock for temporary duty. In November 1960, consoles at the Pentagon's Joint War Room became operational, and the Raven Rock Jace was activated on of July 1961 under USAF Brig. General Willard W. Smith with the five staffs permanently stationed in Washington and an administrative section at feet. Ritchie Rotations began in October 1961 Fort Ritchie also had the OSD Defense Emergency Relocation Site, an expansion project by the Fraser, Davis, McDonald Company was underway in December 1961 at the Little Pentagon, and bunker personnel were evacuated during a 1962 fire. Pentagon construction to provide an entire JCS center at the Joint War Room opened the National Military Command Center in early October 1962. It was initially considered an interim center until a nearby Deep Underground Command Center DUCC could be completed after which Raven Rock would be phased out as superfluous, whichever version 50-man or 300-man DUCC was chosen, but neither was built—nor were SAC's similar Deep Underground Support Center or NORAD's Super Combat Centers. Topic. 1962 Raven Rock's Joint War Room, USAF ADCC, and other facilities were designated the Alternate National Military Command Center on 1 October 1962 when the Burroughs SS-416L control and warning support system with the semi-automatic ground environment had been deployed. Backup interceptor control began at North Bend AFS in December. The term AJCC remained in use, only for the Army Managed Communications Complex. 
On 17 October 1962, DoD Directive S5100.30 conceived the Worldwide Military Command and Control System with five groups of C2 systems. The National Military Command System was the primary group to serve the President, SECDEF, JCS, and was to contain the Pentagon NMCC, Raven Rocks ANMCC, three NEACP aircraft on 24 hour ground alert, two NECPA ships, and interconnecting communications. The Raven Rock bunker was hardened further to about 140 psi blast resistance by 1963 when the Cheyenne Mountain nuclear bunker was being completed for TBD Psi. The USAF's subsequent IBM 473L command and control system with an FYA2 integrated data transfer consoles and large panel display subsystem had equipment deployed at both the NMCC and ANMCC. A second IBM 1410 computer was installed by the 15th of December 1966. Topic: 1976 Telecommunications Center. The USACC site R Telecommunications Center was designated in 1976, and the 1977 Alternate National Military Command and Control Center Improvement Program was worked on by the DoD Special Projects Office later renamed Protective Design Center for a new deep underground C-2 center with greater than 3 miles kilometers of air entrainment tunnels cancelled in 1979. After the 2001 September 11 attacks, Vice President Cheney used Raven Rock as a protected site away from President George W. Bush. The Raven Rock Mountain Complex was declared part of the Pentagon Reservation under 10 U.S.C. § 2674 -G, and on 25 May 2007, DOD policy declared it is unlawful for any person entering in or on the property. To make any photograph, sketch, picture, drawing, map or graphical representation of the Raven Rock Mountain Complex without first obtaining the necessary permission." In 1977, the bunker had an emergency conference room, and the current action center was a military intelligence unit an Air Force general was responsible for overseeing the installation's communications. In popular culture In the TV series Jeremiah, Raven Rock is a setting and on prison break, Raven Rock is an identified location. The complex has an important role in the 2013 sci-fi movie Oblivion, in which it is the headquarters of an underground resistance movement against an alien invasion. In the Fallout universe, it is home to the Enclave, a fictional part of the U.S. government, on the East Coast in Fallout 3, and referenced in Fallout 76 as having been in contact with the AI at the Whitespring Bunker the real-world project Greek Island until communications between them were deliberately cut. Publisher Bethesda also used the name for a location in the Elder Scrolls universe. District 13 in the Hunger Games series, described in the book as an underground military base, also in the Appalachian Mountains, and not far from coal producing Appalachian District 12, may have been based on Raven Rock. In the third book of the One Second After series, Raven Rock is referred to as Site R, and is used by the former U.S. government to house highly important citizens and government officials. In the TV series Salvation TV series, Raven Rock is referred to as a site to house government officials in the case of an asteroid collision with Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Further reading Garrett M. Graf 2017. Raven Rock, The Story of the U.S. Government's Secret Plan to Save Itself. Simon & Schuster. 